Hello, everybody. Welcome back to JM Radio. I'm your host, Mike. And once again, for the second consecutive show, Joe is running late. I bet he's running in here right now because he just texted me. Uh, watch, I'll be here before 7. False statement. He's running late yet again. But we'll start off the show right now. And we're going to start out with the rapper charts. For the, Oh, there he is right now. Coming in. There you are. You're late again. You are late. No, it's it's past seven. You're late. It's not. It is. Is it actually? Yeah, you're late. Ah, seven. Yeah, seven off. with fifty seconds. You seven missed fifty off, seconds. You're you're late. The dot. My goodness. Oh my god. All right, Owen, your mic's on now. Oh, I was muted. Yeah, because you weren't Thanks, here. Man. We got producer of the year over here, Mike. Oh my god. Is this one? Mic three. Yeah, mic right. three. What what other mic? The mic's just right in front of you. I don't know. Let's get to work. All right. So, yeah, I don't know if did you see the rapper charts for today, for uh, last week? What do you mean? Like the the sales and stuff like that? Oh, no, I did not. Uh, get Who do you think won the sales battle, Yeet or Don Toliver? Oh, for yeah, rappers. Because last week was a busy week in terms of yeah. releases. Who do you think won? I think Yeet did, right? He did. I think I heard something he about it. He was like number one on, on Apple Music or something. Uh, he debuted number four on the Billboard Top 200 album chart with 54,000 units first week. Don Toliver was in the 40,000 range. That's surprising. And is that is that an L for Don, or is that is that all right? No, it's all it's all perspective. You don't yeah. have to compare yourself to other rappers. Yeah. What was his ranking? What was Yeet? it? No, 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 Don Toliver. I didn't I didn't see Don's, but I did see uh, Yeet's. It was number four. Well, yeah. Well, then if we don't, I mean, if his was like you know 87th, it, then yeah, sure. But no, it, it was it was definitely. I think it was like. Six or five, something like that. Yeah, you don't got to start competition between two completely different artists. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeet was surprising, though, that's because surprising. Every, everybody thought that before the albums dropped that Don was going to win the sales battle easily. Even but, just without Don out of the conversation, like him being the fourth biggest artist in the world at, at, at any point, at any day, is it's just a weird feeling, given that he's not really... I wouldn't consider him mainstream yet. I feel like no, he's still he's, very, I, he's still in the underground. Niche. He's getting there, though. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to do it. I don't know. Who's going to be the first underground guy to get mainstream out of like that that scene? I mean, Playboy Cardi came first. Well, yeah, he's he's mainstream now. Yeah. Um, he, yeah, I he's guess. He's not in the underground. I mean, like, you guys like Yeet, Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, who are in that conversation. Yeah, the, the Yeet career trajectory is impressive, or at least interesting. It I'm is. Like, go any direction. Have you, seen the, have you seen the the video of him recording his ad libs? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah! Yeah, yo! I'm crying me up! Race! No way! <laughs> Need a let it go up! <laughs> Sad! No. This <laughs> is so funny. What, without auto tune? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I can only imagine. It's so funny. It must be sounding like you when you get to get on the mic and start singing. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So, also in the news, Don Tolliver went on the Breakfast Club. Uh, what is it? The, what's that Breakfast show? Club, right? Yeah, Breakfast Club. That's yeah, what I thought. I hesitated. But yeah, he went on the Breakfast Club this week. It might have been today, actually. And he said that in the future, we could potentially see a collab album with him and Travis Scott. Ye- uh, Don Tolliver said this? Uh, no, Yeet said it. Oh, yeah, Yeet Don said Tolliver said it. Yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, well, if Yeet said it, it'd be, it'd be news news. But um, I, I mean, like, I, you know. Yeah. I could see it. I mean, they. they me. They just release hit after hit. They don't. They haven't released a bad song together. Yeah, I mean, me. I mean, Travis Scott is kind of Don Toliver's father. I mean, without can't say. I mean, no, Don Toliver wouldn't really have a career. Yeah, those two go together like peas in a pod. I would not be surprised um, to see them collab on an album, and it would be a pretty solid album, I would guess, if it were to come to fruition. <laughs> it would come to fruition. Come to fruition. Come on now, I don't talk like that. Yeah, you, you sound like a nerd right now. You sound like you're a robot. Oh, it I would, use a word it you would don't be, know. It would be pretty cool oh, if it I'm would sorry. come to fruition. I'm sorry I use words you don't know. <laughs> I actually uh, get good grades, but... I get better grades than you. All right. Three plus one. Yep, three plus one. You know what that equals? Four. Yeah, oh, man. We're excelling today. <laughs> Going above and beyond. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other news. Um, there was... It's not, like, confirmed or anything like that. There was an article that came out today from U.S. Weekly with Kim Kardashian. This is some... Uh, some rap sensation, yeah. This is a little bit of Kanye news that came out oh. today. Because it's music-related. That's why I'm bringing it up. We're getting your music-related news. Uh, Kim pretty much said that uh, ever since Kanye got married, she's happy he's acting normal, sort of being in the under... Like, staying out of, you know, acting normal, treating people well in the media and out privately. 
But the thing that grabbed a lot of people's attention today was at the bottom, uh, the magazine said a source close to the situation said that, you know, he's in a better place and he's working on a new album as we speak. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, isn't he always? Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> this is like, you know, actual news public uh, trustworthy that is saying like he's like working on a new album, you know, to come out. You know, we haven't really gotten major music news since the disaster of Don to Two. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. That was rough, but I mean that's interesting because there have been reports coming out uh, through through the internet and through people associated with him that saying he's working on a more of a New Orleans sort of sound. Okay. Which is different because you know every time he makes it a new album, it's sort of different than the last. He's yeah. always innovating his sound. He's we'll all, you know he's he's one of the best producers of all time. He's sort of he's able to produce and innovate his own mm -hmm. sound. So I think it's interesting to see uh, musically where he goes from here. Yeah, I mean to make a, a good album, he first has to be in the. The mental space to do that he's been kind of quiet I, the past month two months i mean was he in a good mental state when he made arguably his best album of all time which one is that mbttf mbttf um that was like after it was like I mean, he's never really i'm gonna let you finish but beyonce had the best album of all time the best video of all time he got Man. exiled if he did that today no one would even care no they yeah, wouldn't that was, that was a such deal. a big thing back then yeah, that was yeah that's kind of weird that's like the 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 least horrible People thing he's ever talk done. About yeah, I don't get it. Like, that's a weird one. But yeah, I don't know. Kanye, I don't know if he's a changed man. If he's recovered from uh, the been, goofballery, we, he's been quiet. But we don't has. know. We don't. He's kind of in like this limbo mode. He's kind of gone. This off is what the grid. this is what happens. You know, after after something like this happens, or after he's he's uh, made a bunch of media appearances, he he, he goes quiet for a few months or yeah. or, or longer. So it's, well, it's normal. Usually, when he does these whole big public freakouts, it means music is coming. <laughs> um, and two months ago or a month ago, when he did that, we got no music. So it felt kind of just legitimate, not planned, not no strategy behind it. Just I'm crazy. So we'll see what the future holds for him. Um, it, it probably is only going to be downhill from here, if I were to predict. Downhill, really? Yeah, in terms I mean, he of... Said he, the, he, nothing's really happened. In terms of the politics, in terms of the music, yeah. Well, there's rumors that that's over, that the, the yay 24 is over. The, well, okay. So, I mean, I mean, it's rumors, but, you know... I don't think the presidential run was <laughs> the biggest issue there with Kanye, but sure. But, I mean, but if he's done with that, that means he's sort of stepping away from politics. Hope, I mean, a Kanye fan would hope, but... <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, really? Um, you know, I know plenty of political people that are not running for president. As a matter of fact, most of them aren't running for president. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll wait and see. He's been quiet, so I can't make any bold statements. That's true. But um, I really don't know if there's anyone powerful or influential enough to make Kanye walk back on his statements. He's just, he's a billionaire. He's the biggest man in the industry. I don't know who can stop him at this point, so... Um, I have my doubts. All right. Was there any other news? I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like it was a bit of a slow news week. We had the, a lot of releases last week come out with Oliver. We Destroy Lonely Me. released oh, this wow. week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Single. Oh, I think it was single. like If Looks Could Kill. Okay. How was it? I didn't listen to it. I'm oh, great. <laughs> Great, great job. You were relying on me to listen to I, it? I know. The Destroy Lonely. Destroy, single. yeah, your favorite artist, Destroy yeah. Lonely. Yeah, I don't listen to Destroy Lonely. <laughs> no. No one with any self-respect would do that to their ears. There are so many memes that are made about like people who listen to Opium. It's hilarious. Is that his album? No, that's the 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 label they're all in. Oh. It's Cardi's, oh, yeah, it's yeah, Cardi's yeah, yeah. label. Ken Carson, Destroy yeah. Lonely. All those goofballs. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> I don't know. Cardi's a big name though. Oh, did we talk about? I think we did. Uh, the Travis Scott might drop Utopia in June. I think we did. We talk we about. We did a segment thing? about. Like rappers dropping this well, year. Well, yeah, I think uh, we mentioned it. Yeah, the CEO of um, the record label that he's in said that he uh, Utopia is going to come out in June, and then yeah. for the past we week, Travis Scott's been in headlines for the wrong reasons. What? He, he, so more people. He's facing an assault lawsuit really? now because apparently he punched a dude, yeah, and now he's facing another lawsuit because he threw someone's phone. Oh, I saw. Oh man, that sucks. I saw Chris Brown through someone's phone as well. That was going over on TikTok. Bye bye phone. Just chucking these these rappers are chucking their fans' phones out of nowhere. It's the new trend. I don't know. <laughs> the new hot vine trend, you know. <laughs> I mean, do we really, um, last time we talked about, uh, the new releases, uh, did you get a chance to listen to any of them that dropped a few weeks ago? 
Uh, no. You didn't listen to Love Sick. You, you know what? I'm intrigued by Yeet just because of the numbers. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I, you I'm might. Probably, you might tap in. I might dive into it, which I ne- you, I've never had to do with Yeet before. <laughs> did you listen to uh, IG Hose? No. No, you should. Which that was one? that was my first listen last week. Yeet is surprising me. I don't know. I didn't expect him to climb up the He's ranks. He's blowing like up. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into it with any expectations of loving it, but I just want to the outside looking in, like what is the what is the entry here? What's going on? Why is this guy blowing it's the, up? It's the sound. I mean, there's no there's no yeah. lyrical prowess behind Yeet. It's the it's the sound. It's kind of like I'm not comparing him to Travis Scott, but it's like it's like the sound. It's you know Travis Scott doesn't rap about anything deep or meaningful. You know, people listen to his music for the no. soundscapes. Oh, did you? Oh, you know, uh, you, you know who Anthony Fantano is, right? Yeah, man. He compared the Yeet to Kendrick Lamar. All the times on this thing where Yeet is making all matter of weird, wild, out there sounds with his mouth, dousing them with effects, and just filling the backgrounds of these tracks with them. He's a man of a dozen voices at this point, like Kendrick Lamar, except instead of switching his style up for some kind of narrative point, Yeet is doing it just to be a silly goose, seemingly. Did he? Yeah. I can see it. <laughs> what? What's the comparison? I forget exactly what well, he said. I need to know the details. Like, uh, if you look it up oh, online on Twitter, I'm sure you can find it. But he said, like, something about, like, the storytelling or, like, the, the <laughs> world he creates or something along those lines. I thought it was hilarious. That is Kendrick's probably strongest element of his rapping. I I don't know. I don't, I, I, I I'm don't gonna, know Yeet for I'm gonna, storytelling. I'm going to hold out faith for my guy Tony Tano, but that's a strange one. That's a str- On the surface, that's a questionable dude, take. I, I don't know. I, dude, I, honestly, I feel like Anthony Fantano is that one guy who, like, tries to be different. In what way? Like, like his like his music reviews. I don't know. I, I just feel like he. I just oh, feel like because he gave Kanye a bad review. No, it's not just that. Yes, it's it not is. that. It's not that. Everything goes back. He gave, to that. He, gave he gave he gave the college trap out of ten. Okay? It's, okay, it's not that. But it's like he gave um what was it? He gave DS two a six out of ten, and then he like all the like, all he's done Redux before, but he gave Mac Miller swimming the I first time he reviewed it like a two out of ten. That was weird. Yeah, I mean. He always gives his reasoning, though. I know. I can disagree. I, like, I, res- I respect him. I his really do. His analysis is always sound, and it's just just a guy's opinion. Like it's true. It's nothing. I mean, like people have like given him death threats. Oh, people hate him. People yeah. hate oh, him. Oh yeah. For sure. Remember the whole Drake thing? That was hilarious. <laughs> he, like, <laughs> he controlled that great. The way he played Drake like that, that was hilarious. That was funny. That was the best way anyone could have handled that situation. Oh, yeah. With the well, your existence is a light one. <laughs> <laughs> You know what he did there with the um the release of the video with like the hook the whole cookie recipe thing and did you hear about all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just the way he Yeah, yeah. He, um, oh, it wasn't I just remembered it wasn't the storytelling for uh Yeet and Kendrick, it was the voices. The voices. Because Yeet What? Like Yeet has different voices like Kendrick oh, Lamar does. Uh, I, you know you know how cranky cranky? <laughs> I'll that's, give one it a the, that's one of the features I'll and it's him. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I, I do remember seeing the track cranky, list, cranky. and a bunch of the features yeah. were like unknown names. Yeah, it was tall Yeet, and, and then, I was and then what that one was. of the it's features was a talking Ben app, and then he removed it. Really? Yeah, he removed it. I imagine he just must have sampled it for something and then took it out. Yeah, that's interesting. At cranky, least for cranky. promotion, that's an interesting trick. All right, so do we want to get into the main segment here? Yeah, let's do it. So Mike and I have prepared a list of our top ten favorite albums of all time, and have connected with it. Um, the best song on each of those yeah. albums, in our opinions. So um, they say we're doing rap albums of all time. Yeah, rap okay, albums. Yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, do you want to go first? Um, how do you want to do it? Do you want to do it like I share mine, then you do yours? Or do you want to do like yeah, snake? you do number ten, I do number ten. You want to try that? Okay, sure. That. And uh, so for my list, I did one album per artist, or else it would be flooded with with many different artists. Yeah, not just Kanye. More, mm-hmm. oh, more than just Kanye. This so man, I, I wanted to be. I wanted to be a precise a list. Talent. So there, are, there are there are some surprises here. It's a mix of old and new. Ooh. To my opinion, the, these are not the objective best hip hop albums there of all time. This would be an awful list if okay. that if that so was true. So we're we're doing this on the same criteria. Yeah, I, I, okay. I use those okay. rules as well. So why don't you give me your number ten? Okay. Well, I did have I had repeats, but it didn't really matter because only yeah. one artist repeated. Um, you can probably imagine who it is. Um, it's Pitbull, but um, if I had number ten, I had uh, Igor from Tyler the Creator. Um, it's not a rap album. Eh, it's close enough. I know, I know. I know. I'm, I'm teasing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like I like the sound. It was super original. It sort of put Tyler the Creator in that upper echelon of yeah. artists and really springboarded his career in a way that's really special. I really enjoyed the story because I, I oh, yeah. from what I remember it was about him being in love with a guy who was ar- already had a girlfriend and then the whole thing was about 
him being let on and then him like like you screw you i don't want to you know anymore and then the last one's like can we still be friends something like that I, yeah it was an emotional roller yeah coaster, yeah for sure um and yeah i really liked it i was torn between two of the songs the two biggest songs on the album were probably two of my favorites gone gone thank you and earthquake were the two were the two strongest in my opinion i ended up going with gone gone thank you i think the second half of that song was just the yeah. instrumental's insane. Um, you you want to go with... I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, honestly, I can respect I'm in, I'm in, um, Playboy I'm Cardi for that, for that <laughs> verse. It fit. It fit well. The, the um, actual lyrics are, are like... They're they're not bad lyrics, but you yeah. just can't hear them. Well, that's one of the strongest um, parts of Igor, the, the, the features. Nice, tasteful features. There aren't just, too many, though. No, they're not, but they're, they're sprinkled there yeah. pretty strategically. I like them. Okay, so for my number 10... I had Pop Smoke, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon, with wow. my favorite song being What You Know About Love. I just, I, I, I enjoy this album. It's a fun listen to. It's a, it's a, it's a good, uh, Pop Smoke showcased, you know, how he could get into his more melodic side yeah. of rap. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it wouldn't sniff an objective greatest hip hop albums of yeah. all time, but it's one of my favorites. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, at the, but before the deluxe came out, it was a, it was a decent length, and obviously it came out after he passed. But it's a good listen, a, a good variety of songs with features uh, that I enjoyed personally. It's just a fun listen. It really is. Yeah, it was interesting to see a, a posthumous album go over so well. They usually don't. They usually don't. Yeah. For well, I can think of. Uh, Biggie's um, Life After Death was the first one that really popped off. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pops, Juice World's Legends Never Die. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty but I much can't, it. I can't think of a rapper who's like, their best work came after life. It's uh, interesting. I think even Biggie's and, and Juice World's best albums came when they were alive. but I mean, Biggie only had two albums. Yeah, Biggie, Biggie. I mean, it, yeah. That ready was to die. It's, run. it's either your favorite's Ready to Die or Life After That. There's no exactly. in between. Yeah. I, I think Juice was best where it came out after he died. Really? You yes, do? I think Legends Never Die is his best album. Bro, but Lucid Dreams, what do you mean? It's a good song, but like, you know, the the thing with me is that whole album, Goodbye and Good Rinse, you know, it's about that one subject matter. And that's not a bad thing necessarily, but I feel like mm-hmm. all the, like, I can't really get into it unless I'm into that emotion, and I haven't felt emotion like that in such a long time. You know, there's it still is good kind songs. of one dimension. Yeah, it is yeah, one dimension. It is. You're right. Um, and I think his best work came out with "Legend Never Die." So, maybe. my number ten is "Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon" by Pop Smoke, yeah. and my favorite song is the most popular song, "What You Know About Love." So, yeah. what's your number both nine? Both of our both of our number tens showing off the versatility of uh, artists once thought to be one dimensional. All right, my number nine. You're gonna love this one. Uh, it's from the world famous brother Ali, the brother oh my himself, God, brother Ali the Himalayan again. sensation. Not this dude on the Himalayan, Himalayan mountain again. Oh He's a God. legend, and the best song on this album is a song uh, called "Fajr." It's amazing. It's great. It's some Arabic word that I don't know what it means. I think it's a, a prayer or something. But um, it was produced by a yeah, great beat. It's probably the best part of it. I think honestly, it's like a Kanye type beat. I have spoilers. No Kanye on my list. But I think, Mike, you would enjoy this song very much. It was produced by Jake One, who did a lot of uh, work with MF Doom back when he was around. So, yeah, give it a listen. Are you mad? No, I'm not mad. You're not even listening to me sitting there on his phone. No, I'm listening to you. I listened to you. Pay respect to the... I listened to your whole speech. The Himalayan sensation. I did. I listened. I was actually looking him up. I'm putting you on to some great music. This song has 10,000 views on YouTube. (laughs) Wow. You're missing out. Wow. The people are missing out. But after, after this radio show, it's going to have 10,001. Because All right. Mike's going to go out there and take a listen. Okay, so for my number nine album, I had Mm Food by MF Doom. Hey, there we go. Our second uh, MF Doom reference. Yep, and with my song, my favorite song being the most popular song off the album, Rap Snitches. I mean, if you're if you're sort of one of those people who when you listen to an album, you're you're not really going to look forward to the experimental side. You just you just want like bangers and, and slappers and that's it. You're not really in it for the story or the experiment. You're going to hate this album. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. There's a lot of instrumentals. There's a lot of talking in this album. But, you know, with the actual production and the hip hop and the rapping behind it, it's a it's a it's a good listen. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Mad Villainy, per se. I Really? I'm not. Re- I really? think it's, it's just. It's just two guys uh, for two hours talking about weed. Two hours is, is a bit. Yeah, it's just them much. talking about weed. Yeah, I don't know. You can but make I, the greatest album of all time. If it's two hours, it's still. You got to really... Grant, I do have an album on this list that's very long. 
I guess if you're telling a story and there's like bumps in it and there's progressions, I maybe, but I don't. Two hours is for my fish attention span. It's not going to work. But I think this is I've easily. I think this is Doom's best work, and it has some of his most popular songs on it. Rap snitches, um, one beer. Yeah. Uh, forgetting, I think it's Hoe Ho Cakes. Is that what I think that's what it's called? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, some of his most popular works on it. But yeah. So my top ten right now: Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon, and mm Food. Okay. Two solid albums. My top ten is currently Igor and Bo- Brother Ali. Morning right, in let's, America. Let's see your number. See color. your number eight. Let's go. Okay. Number eight. I have uh, Most Deaf, now known as Yasin Bay, Black on both he sides. He changed his name. Yeah, it was him, right? He's he's Yasin Bay. Am I being stupid right now? You said now, no, now. I didn't know most Def changed his name. Yeah, he changed his name to Yasin Bay. Oh, I, didn't know I think that. that's his real name. Oh, this real. Oh, he changed his his stage name to his real name. Yeah, now oh, goes by Yasin Bay. I mean, he's one of the best. Uh, best most, ever do it. Best one of the best lyricists out yeah. there. Yeah, I forget. Um, most Def is it? Is he from Chicago or New York? I'm, I'm um, thinking Chicago, but for some reason, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking New York as well. He's. An American rapper. He's from America, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, really? Yeah. Just, um, let me look. Okay. I'm he thinking is, Chicago, but for some reason. Uh, New York. Bro- oh, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, yeah. New York. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In but, the back of my mind, I was like, it's it's got to be New York, but I was yeah, thinking Chicago. America, I don't know why, but America. yeah. 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 And this is his um, magnum opus, I guess. This is his best album, pretty much objectively, uh, Black on Both Sides. And the best song is Mathematics, which I think is probably regarded as the best song pretty much objectively by people who like this album iconic beat um a lot of the lyrics aged very well and are still uh, very important to the modern times so that is my number eight the most modern time. i am not dude, i am not talking you sound like so that. boring today oh my goodness where's your enthusiasm uh, let me chug this coffee real where quick. is your enthusiasm it's you very sound so relevant robotic to and the boring. modern times you Whoa. sound so boring let's go oh my god it's it's relevant to the modern times is that better I don't know. Am I doing better? You suck. I gotta cartoonify okay. my voice. Okay. At number eight for me, I have B by Common. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's def- easily his best work. I believe it won a Grammy that year in 2005 for Best Rap Album of the Year. Um, Kendrick was snubbed. Uh, mostly, Kendrick wasn't. Kendrick what? was snubbed, 2005. I hate you. Um,. Produced by the one and only Kanye West. Boo. Uh, has some of the my most, enthusiasm. It Boo. has some very iconic beats on there, some very iconic performances. And the my favorite song on the album is the intro. Really? Yep. Surprise picks? You just can't go wrong with that beat. It's such no. a good beat. I mean, it's... Uh, Whenever I just need a good listen, I'll just I'll pop on that album and I'll just listen to Common nice. rap about girls in bathrooms and and <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, see, so you found you found a way to sneak in Kanye there twice. I see. You. Yeah, I mean it's that's who the producer. You is, tried right? to restrict I mean, yourself. I mean, let's but, be real. Uh, Kanye is one of the best producers of all time. Let's be real here. He's no brother Ali. I'll oh, tell you that much. Um, all right, number seven, probably my least controversial pick. I had to get a Nas album in there, and I went with the most iconic one, Illmatic. I, is, it might be on your list. I don't know. You're giving me a look here, so I'm not sure. But yeah, Nas' Illmatic is, I think, objectively his best work. And uh, the best song I had, The World Is Yours, great upbeat song, feel-good yep. song. Uh, f- I've heard this song. It was like on NBA 2K13 or something, uh, the only 2K I ever owned. And I played that thing for like 10 years straight. So. <laughs> legendary, legendary song. Okay, so that's your number seven? That's my number seven. Okay, my can number... You, before you get to your number seven, can you rate my enthusiasm on that one? It's still terrible. Still terrible? It's still terrible. Was it better? Was no. it better than eight? No. Really? Your, your enthusiasm was awful I didn't, I didn't get mocked that time, so I thought there was a little... No, no, I just decided to give you a break, but now that you're right. asking me, I'm right. being honest okay. with you. Okay, so for my number seven pick, I have Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick oh. Lamar. Uh, oh. I, think it's his, I think it's his best album. Oh. What? My heart. Number six. Number seven. Number seven. <laughs> number seven. Oof. Number seven. Oh, I took a shot to the heart there. I you mean, didn't. I, I didn't have to include Kendrick Lamar on no, you here. Did. But you absolutely no, did. But, but I mean, I think it's um, it was it was between Good Kid, Mad City, or Damn for me for uh, where this album was gonna like. I was either one of those. Do two you see this album to, as as close as competition? Uh, just for not in terms of being objective, but like in terms of my okay. enjoyment That's of fair. the albums. That's fine. Um, 
Dude, so, so I just saw someone like take a sneak peek in here, like a shadow just like going in and out. That was so weird. <laughs> We got, a, we got some paparazzi over here. The crap we got some out of fans. Me. We got some fans <laughs> out here. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, but Good Kid, Mad City. Uh, it's easily my favorite Kendrick Lamar album. I think it's his best project. Uh, there, yeah, I mean, there's true. a lot to choose from from Kendrick Lamar. But my favorite song is Don't Kill My Vibe. I can't say that word on air, but uh, beep, Don't Kill My Vibe. I think it's, oh, it's nice. such a it's such a relaxing song. It's such a, you know, the vibe is there. It's such a calm, relaxing song. I enjoy it all the way through. There are just so many bangers on on that song, on that album. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you want to see Kendrick Lamar talking about having, you see that again? They're just walking around. I dude. know, bro. In your zone. Do you want me to close this door for you? Like, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Close, yeah. close the door. It. All right. No paparazzi. Here. No, no more paparazzi. We're not. We're not. Con- no we're not. Super fans. Yeah, no more super fans, dude. That is so weird. It doesn't even help. There's still a massive window on the door. Whatever. All right. Continue your. I mean, if you want, rant. if you want to see Kendrick Lamar talking about having uh, intercourse with the world Jesus as the Christ. Eiffel Tower, I mean, there's that. I, I mean, you have, you have poetic just, you have poetic justice with Drake. That's a classic. You have true. Good Kid. You have Mad City. You do indeed. two classics, uh, and then you have Money Trees, which is one of his most iconic songs of all time. I mean, there's just you know, there's there's plenty on that album, and it's yeah. it's a good listen through. Any way you look at it. So that's that's my number seven pick. Okay, very disrespectful. Um, I hope karma gets you good someday for that pick. Why? Number seven. Yeah. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And what was your what was your best song? Uh, Don't kill my vibe. Okay. I did not have that one listed as my best song for that track or for that album, but whatever. You can be wrong. Uh, for number six, I have JID the Forever Story, and I, it's the newest release. So maybe there's some recency bias here, um, but I'm I'm still bumping it. I'm still listening to it. Still have yet to see if it'll have that staying power. But as of right now, it's it's great. It definitely it definitely will. With the, amount will. Of, with the amount of um, publicity it's gotten over the past year, it's definitely here to yeah, stay. For I, I, sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, surround sound is going to stay around for a while. That was definitely the song's biggest hit, or the album's biggest hit. I went with for the song uh, the album's best song. I went with Cody Blue 31. That's a good one. That's I just a think great one. when you whip out the choir and you, you <laughs> use them for, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. And that kind of hooks, those kind of hooks are great. And seeing JID uh, whip out the vocals and, and really test his singing chops, it was interesting to see that from. Because he's like Jittery a pure Jig. rapper, too. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's. I it kind of felt like he was like in terms of singing ability. It felt like he's a like he was a Nas. Like you don't you don't hear Nas singing. No, it would be. No. It's, it felt like yeah, it was weird. It felt, but it worked. Element, but it worked, and he did it well. Yeah, I remember. I remember first hearing that song. That really, you know, I had to take a double take there and rewind to be like, hold on, now is this this a feature? Is this JID? No, is this it? It's him. It's the guy. He's developing. He's growing as an artist. Um, and you love to see. It. So that is my number six pick. Okay, so my number six pick is going to be All Eyes on Me by Tupac. It's a double album. It's two hours and 12 minutes long with 27 songs, and there is not one bad song on that album. It is just two hours of pure Tupac, and it's amazing. I mean, it is a good album. it's just full of, of slapper after banger after gem. It's a great album. It's one of my favorites, obviously. I have it in my top ten. With my favorite song, Rob... I'm, I was stuck here. I have two that it were in contention. That's fine. That works. Um, I don't know. I'm going to... He's pondering. I'm going to go with California Love with Dr. J. California that's going to be my Love. pick. I mean, that that's the, you know, that's the sheep way out. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's one of the, you know, probably most popular on the album. But I love California Love. It's a good song, I guess. It yeah. is. When I first listened to it, I was like, "Is that Daft Punk?" Yeah, I was trying to think of the of the of the name of the group, but yeah, they were they were involved, right? No, that was a Daft Punk. That wasn't them. No, it was just some dude with that synthesizer. Really? No, it sounds just like. Them. It does. That's why the first time I listened to it, I'm like, "Is that Daft Punk?" Yeah. And I was like, "Wait, it's it's, it's 1996." <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, you, you don't even know their faces, so they could have been around forever. Um, that's they, true, but they like, could be like 86 right now in Walkers. That's true, but like the first Daft Punk album came out, I guess it came out in 97, so I mean, yeah, like, it could work. It could have, but no, it wasn't yeah. Daft Punk. But yeah, California Love, I'm for, I'm forgetting the name of the other song I had in contention for, but it, that's also a, a slapper if I can remember the name of it. But yeah, Cal- California Love. Prepared. Ridiculous. For, for my favorite song. I mean, at least I, I get here on time. I was here. Who was here? Seven. I did not. 
Oh my goodness, the mockery is disrespectful. All right, all right. What's your number five? What's your what's your, um, who, what's the yeah. first? I mean, if anyone's if anyone's gonna get away with having a two hour album, it it's, would be too far. It would be too far. Yeah. Easy. So for number five, we already mentioned this album at some point in this conversation. Drink at Man City. It's n- <laughs> absolutely not. At number five, are you kidding me? It is good old Mac Miller's Swimming. Oh. I like this album. It's a good album. I don't think we talk enough about Mac Miller. He's a he's a great artist. Um, and you know, he collabed with Thundercat, the greatest uh bassist of all time, probably. I don't know, at least in the modern times. Um, and yeah, he they teamed up and made some hits. I haven't really been able to get into Mac Miller that much. I've tried. I, it's not yeah. bad. It's, it's just I, I gotta give it another try. I think if you get into Kendrick, then like Mac Miller is like he's right there. Like you're gonna you're, there's like a lot of overlap in terms of the jazzy kind of sound, especially in this like 2016, 2017, 2018 era. Um, yeah. So my favorite tracks from this album, I went with "What's the Use." Just another feel good song and the the bass line from thundercat my goodness um i barely ever notice a bass line to a song but my goodness thundercat really outdid himself there and then also a shout out to uh, self-care which is another great song off of that album how's my enthusiasm doing are we improving terrible like, awful see now i can't trust you because no matter what i do you're just gonna say terrible we got okay, a certified so hater in the building for my number five this. pick i have 1999 by joey badass an absolute classic mixtape slash mm. album whatever you want to call it it's a classic full of slappers full of bangers and my favorite song is going to be waves classic it's oh. the same it's the same beat that j cole used for false prophets unfortunately but it's it's still you know he's right we can go through the lyrics oh my god we can go through the yeah, lyrics. 1999 I, it's it's one of the best to ever be made Speaking of 1999, for number four, I had Joey Badass 1999. (laughs) I really did, but I went with a different song. I went with the one I thought you were going to go with, Survival Tactics, um, featuring Capital Steez, which I think is the biggest song off the album, I'm pretty sure. Probably. Um, That's a banger. It still holds up today, um, even as rap and the the sound has developed. What a great song that continues to be. I'm I'm still hearing people out on the basketball courts bumping it as they're shooting hoops. It has stood the test of time. That album is now, like, over a decade old. So, yeah, uh, great stuff there from Joey Badass. Rest in peace, Capital Steez. Great song. Great song, indeed. So, for my number four pick, I have The Blueprint by Jay-Z with my favorite song Ooh. being Heart of the City. It's a classic album. I, I, think for- it's- I forgot about Jay-Z. It's Jay's best album, right. in my opinion, without a doubt. Yeah, that. Yeah, I would say objectively, that's the best one. Nah, yeah. I wouldn't say objectively. A lot of people. I mean, you have reasonable say? doubt. You have uh, the black album, but like the black my, album. Yeah, I my, put that up there. In my opinion, it's it's the blueprint. I'd probably go with the same. Yeah. All right, for number three, it's your top three. No more trace. The big three here. I have Jermaine Cole, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Pretty good album, still the test of time. I think at this point, it's been mid. long enough to call it a classic. Mid. It's a classic album. Get out of here, I'm man. kidding, I'm kidding. Get out of here, it's not I'm mid. I'm kidding. You're mid. Um, yeah, and I think the best song off of it is, is an easy pick. For me, at least personally, No Role Models. It's a good song, man. Great song. My favorite Iconic is Wet Dreams. Of course it is, but um, I don't know. I think you can list, you can put on No Role Models anytime, any place, and uh, everyone's going to love it. It's a great song. Bro, so for my number three, I have Astro World by Travis Scott. Boo. It's you a called classic. me mid. You call me mid. You're out here Astroworld putting Travis is a Scott classic. in the top There's three. not one bad song in that album. Let's be real here. I don't know, man. 90210 is kind of... Uh, Wrong I'm album. I'm kidding. I don't care, dude. Wrong Wait, album. Astro, what's Astro World? What's 90210 is on um, Rodeo. Ro- oh, you went with Astro World? Yeah. Oh, Rodeo's better. No, it's not. Rodeo's better. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're going to go with the Travis. Oh, my God. No, it's not. Bro, what? Astro World just came and went. Are you serious? It was no, it did not. What is wrong with stupid you? Stupid album. It did Actually, not just come and go. I would say Birds in the Trap is the best album. But... So you're going Rodeo's the best album, then Birds, Birds in the Trap is well, the best I gotta album. I got to look at the track list. Oh, my God. Look. You're ridiculous. It's definitely not Astroworld. My goodness. It is Astroworld. Are you Astroworld, kidding me? That's the album that was so bad, it made him quit hip-hop, and he's never recorded an album since. Terrible album. That's not how it works. Yeah, he was so embarrassed, he went into okay. hiding. And he had, anyways, haven't seen him since. Anyways, with my favorite song being Skeletons with The Weeknd. Just such an angelic Speaking song. Speaking of skeletons, Travis Scott's career is dead. 
Sucks. All right, what's your number two? Wait, what was it? Oh, skeletons. Okay. I've never heard that song. I don't. I don't really care about it. Number because two. You suck. Number two. I have my uh, guy Kenny. Kenny Lamar to pimp a butterfly. Oh uh, yeah, and Good Kid, Mad City's gonna be number one, isn't well, it? Well, we don't know. It could it could be it uh, is. birds in the tree. Number two, I have Kendrick Lamar, and number one, I'm, I have I Kendrick Lamar like too. That. I love Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Number two and number one, I Kendrick Lamar. Is that what I sound like? Yeah, it Kendrick is. Lamar. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly how, sound like. how you sound like. Thank you, man. You're you're so good at this um, bullying thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met someone that wants to be a bully so bad, but is just so so bad at it. Oh uh, yeah, great album. Honestly, looking back at the track lists, I had a tougher time um, with "To Pimp a Butterfly" to, uh, finding the best song on that album than I did for "Good Kid, Mad City." Which dude, that, could why there's so could many people coming album. and going in this dude? Oh my goodness, dude, dude, we why? I think they're doing the um, the media showdown oh. downstairs, which yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but there's like that was like the third person who just came <laughs> in here and went. Paparazzi, man, the show's I know, getting bigger. Man. The show's getting bigger out here. <laughs> All right, I, I interrupted you. Continue. Yeah, you did indeed. Um, but yeah, I just for this for this one. I love one, Kendrick I felt Lamar. Like, My name is Joe. I love Kendrick I, Lamar. I, this is the worst. This is get better. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm insulted by I'm how bad you, the insults are. I'm gonna let you finish. Give me better insults. Give me what's I'll let you better. finish. I'll let you all finish. Right, there we go. I just I I was looking at the two albums, comparing and contrasting them, and it was tough. I feel like there's more highs on "To Pimp a Butterfly." I think the the best tracks of, from Kendrick's discography probably come. From this album, Good and I definitely city. nope, and I definitely had a harder time picking out the best song for uh, "To Pimp a Butterfly." It's all right. I had four in mind. It's My big right. four here were Wesley's Theory, which eventually I went with as the number one song on the album. It's all right. I didn't even have that in my top four. You're you're ridiculous. You, I don't know if you remember this album all the way through. You're ridiculous. You it's all right. It's, it's all his right, best song, five. period. All right's probably five, but I all right is it. his best song, period. The four I went with it was on um, Wesley's Theory, The Black or the Berry. Uh, hood politics, which it autocorrected to good politics, and um, King Kunta. Those were my top four. It's all right. All right is all right, you know? They, it's called that for a reason. You're mid. No, all right is mid. It's not. It's okay, a great, great so, song. So for number two, I went with Illmatic by Nas. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I recently have been going through Nas's entire discography, and the man doesn't really have a single bad project. He's like really one single bad project. Mid project, I guess, but the man. I mean, the man is one of the best lyricists to ever do it. I mean, I could have, I could have put Illmatic. I could have put King's Disease Two. I could have put King's Disease Three. I could, I could have Wait, put Life did, Is you Good. You did put Illmatic, I, but I did put Illmatic because it's objectively his best work That's ever. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it just it just completely changed the game at the time. I mean, it came out in like what ninety four. Changed the game yeah. completely. Made, made him, in my opinion, at the time, the king of New York. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, for that nineties battle with the King of New York, it was it was Nas, Biggie, and Jay. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are the big ones. Yeah. yeah. And with my favorite song also being The World Is Yours, Look which at that. I think that so that is Nas's best song. Of so that's all time. the one overlap both you and I have in terms of album and favorite song. Battle all right, so just just tell us your number one is Good Kid Mad City already. Number one, I had to do the repeat. I had to bring him back. You know who he is. You know him, you love him. It's Brother Ali. No, it's not. It's, uh, it's uh, Kendrick Lamar with Good Kid, Mad City, which I think I, I can respect the opinion if you think To Pimp a Butterfly is the best album, but Good Kid, Mad City clears. It put him on the map as one of the greatest rappers ever. Great storytelling. I still telling. can't believe. I'm sorry. I have to interrupt you what? again. I still can't believe last episode you what? said what that, that, that Future self title was his best album just because DS2 <sighs> put him on the map. DS2 DS2 sucks I don't know what to tell you man uh, DS2 is his best album Continue though I interrupted you <laughs> Mask off baby That's the best song in his, in his discography But yeah For this one I had a bit of an easier time uh, Picking out the best song For me it was Good Kid Featuring Pharrell Who did the production And my goodness Pharrell Outdid himself As he uh, Always Seemingly tends to do With his production Probably I would I would maybe say He's the best Or most important Most influential producer in the hip hop or even the music game, um, shout it's out to him. Not a bad take. No, it's not. No, it's, it's a respectable really take. So, Good Kid is my personal. I think, objectively speaking, I think "Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst" is the deepest song, twelve minutes long. Um, it's like a whole novel. My goodness, the the storytelling and the lyricism there from Kendrick Lamar. I think if you were to like print that out on paper, <laughs> it would come out as like a whole chapter book. Like it would be fifty pages long, which is bar after bar after bar. Um, but you know. It's not a very versatile song. 
you got to be in the kind of mood to listen to it. So I went with the song you can bump at any time, any place, anywhere. It's going to get the people going. Good Kid, produced by Pharrell. That's my uh, the number one song on the number one album for me. Okay, so for my number one, I went with Nav by Nav. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's Graduation by Kanye West. Uh, Disgusting. Despicable. Um, for Kanye, I could have put... I said Kanye. For, Ka- yeah. for Kanye, I could have done... You see uh, how me as a good friend, I, I didn't mock you there for that? <laughs> Kanye. Um, if it wasn't Graduation, it would have been the college dropout. I mean, those two for me are some of his best mm-hmm. works. But my personal favorite is Graduation. It's one of the first hip-hop albums I ever listened to. It's still one of my favorites. There's just banger after banger after banger. I mean, every time I come back to that album, I, I find something new. I mean, it wasn't until probably a year after I first listened to that album that I really discovered and appreciated Homecoming, which I think is his, oh. is one of his best songs of all time. It's definitely one of his best in terms of storytelling. It's a double entendre about his relationship with Chicago. It's it's a phenomenal song. I don't know if you've li- ever listened to yeah, it. Yeah, listened to it. Of course. Yeah, it's a phenomenal song. But my favorite song... Is flashing lights. Flashing lights. It's classic. it's. I, I, it's. I think it's his best song. Period. Really. I yeah. I mean, just the way that, the lyrics, the production, it's just inc- it's an incredible song, and I could have gone with Homecoming or Flashing Lights, but yeah. I mean, my my personal favorite Kanye song is Flashing Lights. So uh, yeah, I think you said that last uh, yeah. episode as well. All right, so those are our top tens. Um, you know. That's it. That's the, that's the top tens. That's it. You want to do some... Uh, we have to like 20 minutes left. You want to do some more uh, 20 questions for rappers? You want to do that? I had an idea for... Because um, last last um, episode we went and I we rapid fire named off the best songs from, you know, a variety of rappers. I thought this week we could maybe flip it on his head and uh, go with the worst songs of each rapper. Whichever idea you could you would rather do. Why don't we save that for next time so we can prepare more? Ah, it's a hard no. Okay, a hard no for next Mike time. on the ideas. Next time. I'm saying next time. Dejected, heartbroken. My goodness. Sure. All, All right. right. 20 questions? Yeah, let's do All it. All right. I have one in mind. Shoot. All right. Let me... Th- oh, man. Just like old times. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, goodness. The nostalgia is coming back. Okay. Have they made a track with Kanye? Or have they been on a Kanye album? Have they been on a... Kanye album. That's my question. Yep. Let me look that up. Huh. So we're venturing outside of the realm of Kanye. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Just because I still, man, the PTSD, I got to ask the question Are they a guy? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, one of my friends just found something interesting because uh, oh, really? he's listening to the show. Uh, <laughs> what? He was reading about MF Doom, and he and he looked at the the roster for his label, and and guess who's on Brother Ali? his latest Brother Ali Brother is on Ali, his man, label. Put respect on the name. <laughs> Put some respect on the name. That's so funny. The songs might get ten thousand views. Brother but Ali. Hey, hey I just thought that was funny. It. Respect him, man. Do you respect him a little more now? Because. I, I have to I would have to listen I would have to listen I would have to listen Okay but yeah Okay so you've done Two questions so far He has worked with Kanye West And he is a male Wow he is a male He's, He's a male shocking. You have 18 left <sighs> I'm kind of nowhere still um, Are there Are they most Did they work with Kanye In the 2010s No Ooh 2000s or 2010s I'm a Okay, are there most prominent works in the 2020s? Let me look that up. Okay, but it's, 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 it's up for debate. So this is a guy who was late 2010s, early 2020s, which um, is all the 2020s. No, late 2010s. Okay, but you had to think about it. So they're still, they're still putting up... Unless it's the baby, they're still putting up numbers. Um, I think you have you have sixteen left. I think. Okay, sixteen. I'll I'll, I'll keep count from now on of my. I'll, I'll keep count. Okay, sixteen. I'm still okay. So it's a guy, worked with Kanye. It's a relatively new person, modern era kind of guy. So they must be on Donda. They must be on Donda. I'm looking up the Donda features right now. You don't know that. I don't know that, but you don't. Did they work? Okay, I'll I'll get it out of you. Did they work with Kanye on Donda? Yes, they did. <laughs> you suck. All right. 
Hey, we said no phones. We said no oh, phones. Oh, come on, There's dude. no phones. Oh, There's no goodness. phones. That was this the rule. unfair. Because that's, that's too easy. No, it's not too easy. It is. Because you just go, oh, is okay. it this way? Is it this way? That is how you got Fat Joe. So I'll, I, but I'll scratch. This is not Fat Joe. I'll say that. Fat Joe. Okay. I did not I did not know a Fat Joe. That's a you problem. That's not a me problem. Um, oh, my, I don't know the features. Uh, is it Roddy Rich? It is Roddy Rich. Is it actually? It is Roddy Rich. Oh, I did Roddy Rich before. I know you did. Oh, I thought I could man. get you back. It is Roddy no, Rich. No, no, I was like, that was a good guess me. there. Yeah. You, yeah, don't don't pick people I know. Don't pick people that okay, are on my I, mind. I have another one for next time, but do you have one in mind I for me? I think that might have been the most efficient. That uh, is. That's questions? your most efficient performance. Dang, look at that. Yeah, it took you like 11 questions to get Drake. <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta ask the right question. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, let me think of someone. If not, I can go again. No, 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 no. I can think of a name. Okay, I can think of a name. Um. All right, I have someone in mind. Have they worked with Kanye Omari West before? I am praying to Jesus Himself that they haven't, but I don't. Know I'll let you rephrase. Sure. Have they been on a Kanye Omari West album? <laughs> um. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Is their most prominent work in the 2010s? I'm going to say yes. Yes. Um, hmm. There's many places you could go. That's true. Are they most known for trap? No. 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 Not a trap guy. I mean, don't put it out. Well, I won't say anymore. I won't, no. no. Okay. I'm going to say no. It's Most confident, no. No. Hmm. Stumped him. Want to give up? No, I've asked like three questions. I think you should give up. I think it's over. Is this a hard one? This isn't like, okay, okay. No. Um. Is it Joey Badass? No. Oh, he's already throwing out guesses. No. I was, I was no. doing a shot in the dark. In the dark it's yeah. not Joey. All right, I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm just trying to pick people that are not associated with Kanye. That's were they the on a double XL freshman? I think the, uh, I think they were, but I'll double check. I'll double check. Blue face double X. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were. They were. Is it blue face? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Is it Denzel Curry? Nope. No, sir. Is it Polo G? Nope. No. You got to ask more questions because you're not close. I'll I'm not close. That. I'll tell you that. Was this a double XL from the early 2010s? Yes. Yes. The first half of the 2010s. I don't know anyone. From- <laughs> you just wasted like six questions. I did. I did. Um, hmm. I'm stumped. It's over. And they haven't worked with Kanye. That's interesting. That's the thing. I'm a veteran in this now. If, if they're associated with Kanye in any way, I know you, you can you can find a way to figure out who it is. Hmm. Um, had to throw a curveball. You definitely know him. Have they... Oh, I don't know. You, you, you got to narrow it down. Ask some, like, specifying questions. Because you're not, I mean... You're not in the realm. You are not in the realm. Have they ever had, like, a hit? Yes. Yes. Big hit. Big hit. Big, big hit. Okay. Huge hit. Gargantuous hit. Chris Brown, Chris Brown hit. Slap. Have they worked with Chris Brown? I don't know. Not on the hit, though. Not on the hit? No. Okay, have you used up half my questions? Really? That's only ten? Yeah. Jesus. Keep in count. Was this hit released in the first half of the 2010s? Um, 2010 to 2015? Middle, middle 2010s. Mid. Okay. I can I can get the exact year, but... Is it Kyle? No. I thought it was I Spy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a random name to pull out of nowhere. Bigger than Kyle and a bigger hit than I Spy. Oh. I'll give you... I'm feeling sympathy, so I'll give, I'll, I'll give out some hints. hints. Is it 21 Savage? No. He wasn't a 2014 double XL freshman. It was a 2014 double XL freshman? No, I'm just using an example for the first half of the 20. I mean, it could be a 2014 double XL freshman. It could. That's if that true. gets you anywhere. It doesn't. No. <laughs> Is it, No. He's worked with Kanye. 
Fuck it. Is it ASAP Rocky? Nope. Oh, I just swore. Oh, shoot, you did. <laughs> I did. Oh, man, I didn't even register that. <laughs> Crap. It's over. Oh, it's no. It's over, guys. Um, I got you. You have to be more conscious of that. <laughs> um, hmm. I give up. Who is really? it? Who no, is it? Come on. You're Who is it? After 12 questions? It was like 13 or something like that. But I, I, I go, I'm getting nowhere here. Who is it? It was logic. It was logic. It was logic. Yeah, logic. I would never have gotten that. Yeah, but he had that hit, the uh, Suicide Hotline Yeah, song. yeah, I know. I would have never gotten that. I okay. Don't wanna be alone. You could have gotten that. I don't want to be alone. You could have gotten that, man. You no. I if you asked the right questions. I, he was a freshman? 2013. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Old I have school. one in mind. Have they worked with... Are they on a Kanye album? No. Oh, man. Um, do they have more than... Or are they... Were they most prominent... Are they most prominent, like, in the 2020s? No. 2010s? No. 20... It's it got to be the 2000s. 2000s? No. The nineties guy. I know you wouldn't go eighties no. on. Yes, okay. yes, it is. No, no, 90s. That wasn't a question. That wasn't it's a question. 90s. That was a statement. No, the 90s no, thing. no. You the nineties thing was a was a statement. You asked. I said it. W- what? Fine, fine. I'll give you it. You okay? I'll give. I you said it. it was a nineties guy. Fine. Oh my goodness. Fine. Well, that that narrows it down. That narrows it down. Because I don't know how many people. I know a lot of nineties guys actually. You wouldn't give me. There's not ten people from the nineties you would give me. Is it? Were they part of a rap group? No, it's not Outcast. It's not Outcast. It's not anyone in NWA. It's not Wu Tang. It's not Wu Tang. That really narrows it down. Yeah. Where are they? Are they from New York or the East Coast? Yes. Yes to New York? You said East Coast. Yes. So not New York. That's not true. I just said East Coast. You hesitated on New York. You did not. All I'll give you is East Coast. That was the question. All right. You're being tricky like this. Were they from New York? Yes. Yeah, you suck, dude. You suck, dude. That's that's your payback for the. You're gonna the get 90s this eventually. One. They're from New York in the '90s, not part of a group. Man, I'm making progress. You this are. Is, it's, this this is, is the comeback. You should have gotten this already. New York, New York, New York. Is it Nas? No. Is New York? Is it Fifty Cent? No. That's not a bad guess. Don't Fifty Cent was two thousands. We was, but I don't know. I don't. You never know with you. Is it uh, Tupac? No. no. Is it Biggie? Is it Biggie? It's Biggie. It's Biggie. It took you 11 questions to get Biggie Small. 11 is not bad. For Biggie solid. Smalls. Tupac was a, a objectively stupid an- uh, answer, but whatever. You know, that was efficient. Okay, do you have one? I'm dominating over here. Um, all right, let me think of a name. Let me think of a name not associated with Kanye. Let's think. Uh, I don't know every single Kanye feature. I know, but it's just, I never know with you, because you always do, somehow. You got Fat Joe. My goodness. Yeah, because I use my phone for yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, I got one. Have they worked with Kanye West? I'm going to say yes, but I'll look it up, just to be safe. But it's a pretty confident yes. Okay, confident yes. Yeah, I went against the grain. A lot of something that is not, that is associated with Kanye yeah yeah they have have they been on a kanye album um i don't know how do i find this kanye album features yeah and just plug in the name i guess okay blue face Okay, it looks like they're not. They're not. But I feel like they were. I feel like they were. I don't know, check Spotify? I don't know. Kanye West Blueface. (laughs) It looks like no. No? No, at least not a verse, I don't think. Okay. It doesn't look like it. Which surprises me, but... Um, is it ASAP Rocky? Nope. I know he's worked with him, but he's not on an album. Um, They've definitely worked together. Okay. Is their most prominent work in the 2010s? Ooh. Um, probably, yeah. Okay.
You gotta narrow it down. I do. I don't know how to narrow it down. Do you count the questions or? Huh? Are you counting the questions? Yeah. Okay. I have 16. Man. I feel like I blow through my questions way faster. You know what? For the sake of time, because I, I want you to have another one, I give up. You Oh, give me, come on. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's Pharrell. It's Pharrell? For okay, real, yeah. that's a good one. I, 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 yeah. I want you to have another one because you're on you're uh, you're on a roll here. Okay. I want I, you to Kanye go. was on a Pharrell album, at least through my research, but I could not find Pharrell no, on a Kanye album. No, I don't think album. Pharrell had a verse on any Kanye no, stuff. Probably some behind-the-scenes production stuff. Probably, but... yeah, for, for sure. All right. Can I go three for three? Let me just find an artist here that's not too easy but not too hard. Man, today's my Okay, day. I have one. Have they are they on a Kanye album? Can look it up. I you... think so, yes. Okay. Um, is it a twenty tens uh, Kanye album? No. No. So it must have been not two uh, not nineties, two thousand. It must have been that's not a question. It must have been two thousands, right? Because Donda obviously was twenty twenties. Can't lose my phone. I don't know all the release dates for the Kanye albums. So what is that? What is that? The one with the bear. It's the college dropout, late registration, graduation, graduation. eight weights and heartbreak, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. That's five. That's like all of them. That's so annoying. So they're on one of those. Not a question. Okay. Okay. I'm just thinking out loud for the people. That they're on one of those five. That doesn't. Uh, you can ask. Were they most prominent in the 2000s? Their individual career, not. Kanye, but... No. No. 2010s. Yes. Okay. 2010s. So the 2010s. Were they more relevant in the first half of the 2010s? No. So they... Not a question. So they were on a 2000s album with Kanye, but they were most relevant in the late 2010s. So this is someone with staying power. This is a legend. Is it Kid Cudi? No. Is it... Oh, man... Who's been around for a long time but hit their prime in late 2010s? I mean, you could just ask if he, they were on a Kanye album in the 2000s. Is, if it's Donda. Were they on a Kanye album in the 20, uh, 2000s? No. It's Donda. It really it's was Donda. Donda or Donda 2. Oh, my God. You had to think about it, though. You, like, gave me a look. Oh, man. I'm reading. Looks I'm can reading. be deceiving. Oh, you're a tricky guy. <laughs> you're a tricky guy. All right. I appreciate the help, though. Um... So Donda, can't be Roddy Rich. Um, is this someone who fell off hard? Did they fall off? No. So they're still they're still they're still It's not the baby. It's not the baby. <laughs> it's not the baby. I'll give you that. <sighs> I don't know any of the features. Who was on that thing? Where... I don't think you would know this feature. Like that they were featured on that on this track. Are they a melodic rapper? No. So it's not the weekend, it's not post Malone. They're not rappers. I know. Post Malone sort of. Post Malone was on Donda? I think he was, yeah. He was, yeah. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he was. I Maybe. Think. Um, yeah, He definitely was. I just don't know the name of the song. And I'm too insecure to sing it. Um, bro, what are the... What are the so are they a lyrical rapper? No. The Baby King. No. He was on Donda, right? He was on Donda. He was on Praise God. Playboy car? It was a Playboy card. No. Is this a trap card? Yes. A confident head nod from Mike. For sure, trap. For sure. For sure. Ooh, I don't know the features all enough. Dang it. You don't have to just go off Kanye features. I know, but I'm. That's kind of. You're the... making it about Kanye West. Okay, so it's like a, it's like a hidden feature, sort of. Not necessarily. But you said I wouldn't know it, so it's not. Yeah, like I don't. Know. I don't think you would know that they are on Donda on your own. So I gotta keep asking other stuff. Were they a double XL freshman in a year that was in the second half of the 2010s? I highly doubt it, but I'll look it up. So this, ooh, but it's someone big. I feel like because that's what you usually go with. So I'm gonna say. It's no, funny. they were not a double XL freshman. At all? At all. I'll give you that. Ooh. Ooh. That. Oh, I wish they were a freshman. Now I really don't know. Ah. Oh. I mean, I know who it's not now, I guess, but. Um. 
So their their biggest era is it uh, Lil Yachty? No. I'm running low. Lil Yachty was a freshman, I thought. He was. He was. He you was. have five left. Ah. Do they have? Uh, uh, do they have dreads? Mm. Oh man, who is this? Um, that's a good question. A trap artist, on a on Donda. Not a freshman. Yes, they do. Who was? I'm trying to think of like freshman snubs. Is it Gunna? No, Gunna was not on Donda. No, I think he was a freshman. He just didn't show up for the cipher. I'm pretty sure. I don't. I feel like everyone's been a freshman. Everyone's a freshman. Dang. That sucks. You have three left. I'm not going to get it. The role has officially. I'll give you one rolling. hint. It's not Lil Durk. That would have been a solid guess. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you that. It's not Lil All Durk. All I know is who it's not. I need. And you said, yes, they do have dreads? They do. That's why I told you it's not Lil Durk, because he's known for his dreads. Yeah, I, I, he should have been on my list of. I think Polo G was a freshman. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know. Are they. Um, I have two guesses. You have three. Three. I might give up. I might have to call it quits. Just you have three guesses left. Just guess out random names. Um, who even fits the description? Um, I don't know. Are they? So they were okay. Are they bigger in the in the twenty tens in the two thousands? The second half of the twenty tens. I would I would say yes. They did not fall. I feel like Roddy Rich fits it, but I know it's not it's him. It's not Roddy Rich. I know it's not. Just give it to me. I don't know. Okay, you're giving up? Yeah, I'm giving up. The streak is over. It is King Slime himself, Young oh. Thug. Oh, I said Gunna, too. I know you I did. Right I thought there. you were going to get it. It's Young Thug. He wasn't Currently even in my in prison. mind. He was on remote control off of wow. Donda. A trap guy. That's so obvious. He's I, the it trap was guy. obvious. He's it, the trap guy. He was not a double XL freshman. He was a snub along with the Migos That's, in the twenty four. I remember class. this. I remember him being a snub. Yeah, what the heck? I should have gotten <laughs> that. Or even thrown out some Migos names. I know. Yeah, I should have done more with the the, the trap question. Yeah. I really and everything Polo, slipped me. Polo G was not on Donda. Man. And he was a freshman, so it didn't even matter. So that's the show. Yep. All right. So that is the show. Unfortunately, we we'll, we'll, we that, that, that we uh, will not have a show next week or, we, the, or week the week after. after. We will be on spring break. So However, sad. we will have plenty of content coming your way on the YouTube channel and on Instagram and on yes, TikTok. Sir. We still have a backload of a YouTube lot. uploads for you. The the last episode and this episode will be bringing out some shorts content for you guys. Maybe Incoming. we could get together. Maybe do an episode over spring break. We could we talk could. about that. Maybe. Could. Uh, a digital exclusive not on radio. We'll Ooh. talk about that. However, for now, this is Mike and Joe signing out, and we're going to leave you with uh, Good Life by Kanye West because it's right here, and it's easy, and I already wrote uh, it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always Kanye. All right. It's literally right here. All right. Um, Go check us out on the YouTube, uh, and Instagram, and Joe's the rap takes are awful. I just muted his mic. Uh, oh. We both love you all, though. You Have a great rest oh. of your Friday night. Thank you for joining us on JNM Radio.